Hi guys, for today I present a very quick uh, update, uh, it's not going to be a full tutorial because I've been just testing with something that was bothering me uh, last night and I fixed the Asia Ragdoll event finally uh, so now that if you go into Ragdoll you go into proper Ragdoll, it will behave a lot better and you have a blending get up and if you fall on your back Let's try to fall from these stairs. You will also do a get from the back. Of course, you need a better IK and a bit better blend for all those, uh, but generally they work as they should. I need still to adjust the uh, rotation of the character uh, when getting up to actually uh, face the rotation between the root and the pelvis, so it's a bit better. So if the character tumbles too much and changes his rotation when he's getting up, he will do this. But in general, if the character just falls... Oh, okay, this one was uh, very bad. So generally, if a character falls and just stumbles around, he will get up. It will look decent enough. He will not pop back in into full standing just out of nowhere. And how this is done is all being managed by the uh, character animation master. So you don't, don't have to bother with that. There is an event that sets up the pelvis bone name, which is relevant for the ragdolling. Uh, but there is a, already set up a default value of this variable, which is called pelvis. You don't have to run it if you're running the mannequin uh, skeleton without retargeting. And there is a bunch of stuff happening here, and there is a bunch of stuff for repositioning running at tick if you are while ragdolling. Now in the character itself, you have a toggle event, which is just running this ragdoll event, and you run it on the client or on the server. It will run the same, and it will replicate down to owner uh, properly. Now... Uh, I also added a new function from the animation master component which is called facing direction. It says if you are facing up or down when you are, well, at, at any moment. So it's just taking the pelvis uh, forward vector and it's saying if, uh, if you have your pelvis facing forward, you know, up or down and that's it. So you can pick your get up montage, then you play the montage and you do some stuff about turning that you do here and of course you disable rotation while ragdolling and enable it when you get up so that's simple as that i'm also doing um increased camera lag when you are ragdolling and removing the camera lag when you stop ragdolling uh, so yeah simple as that this is the entire ragdoll uh, implementation it's part of the third person character example right now and you can test it on the third person example uh, map after downloading the newest repository. Yeah, not half bad. Hey guys, some of you already know that we started a Discord channel where you can join us into discussion. You can ask questions, request tutorials, uh, access different uh, developers' resources that are sh being shared right there. And you can always reach out to me uh, on our Discord. I am online basically half a day each day. Uh, and also, I am soon running a Patreon. And I will make a video about what you can expect from the Patreon and what benefits can you get there uh, also if you like this video and you like my content and you want to support the channel not only you can uh, follow me on patreon but you can also like the video consider subscribing uh, most of my views are not from uh, subscribing viewers uh, i'm trying to input at least two three videos per week so there's a lot of content and the quality of the content will improve with time so um, it's worth even considering hitting that bell button. Thank you for listening and see you guys on Discord channel and talk to you soon. Bye.